Hi students. Um, I had a great conversation about a week and a half ago with one student about a particularly difficult and especially difficult sentence, which this quick video is to practice. And this is the question of where were you? Where were you? Where were you born? Where were you yesterday? Where were you going? And I want to dive into the difference between the where and the were. Where were. Hearing the difference is always the first step. Make sure that you can hear where were. They sound different to you. Where were. When I start with the word where, where, you have the sound of air, air, like air that I breathe, a big air, where. My lips start smaller for the wa, wa, where, but my mouth goes very wide by the end, where. Were, were. My lips start in the same position, where, were, but my lips do not go as wide. And the sound of were, think about the word her, her friend, were, where were you, where, air, air, your mouth goes very big, where, were, where were you yesterday? Where were you born? Another important point here, if you are struggling with the difference between where and were, some people, and in an older style of English, it was more common, some people will pronounce their WH closer to an HW, and it will have a sound of breath. Wh wh where? Where? Where were you? If you are really struggling with the difference between air, er, and people are not understanding you, you could always try adding in that wha, where, where were you, wha, where were you, to give an extra difference between the two words. As always, when you're working on pronunciation, um, Make sure you're using your phone, get your video recording app open, record yourself on a video, speaking the piece, where were you, listen to yourself, compare to my video, go into your Google Translate, compare to the pronunciation on Google Translate, listen to yourself again, notice the difference between my pronunciation, between your recorded pronunciation, um, Identifying that difference is the first step in improving that pronunciation. Until next time, students. Bye.